Welcome to Michelle's Opinions. Today is, oh my goodness, September 1st, 2018 already. Wow. Today we're going to talk about some things that um, have been going on, um, which is why I really haven't been active um, with my live streaming like normal so because uh, I needed to take a little bit of time to uh, you know get rebalanced and understand and um, you know so that way uh, you know I'm at a hundred percent for you guys because you deserve nothing less this one I'm calling dark magic and as you can see I'm showing an image of like masons where they've got actors and role player and all of these things going on you know smoke and mirrors a production of sorts as this is pretty much what's happened to a large majority of us um and it's probably been going on for a few months now maybe even longer where uh, everything's just come into light and been exposed so I figured this was pretty appropriate for what has happened to us and why I've um, stepped back a little bit to reevaluate. Um, and I, I really got upset and I had to figure out why I got so upset. Uh, and I, I, I realized why I've gotten so upset because I, what is going on with each of us is so important. And in the beginning, the confusion that we all go through, um, it's just really not a time to be played with, especially in some kind of a production that, um, you know, plays games with us. Okay, and now we've got a meme that says, don't let negative and toxic people rent space in your head. Raise the rent and kick them out. This is a meme by Robert Two. So it's just something to think about, guys. I've selected this background image where I'm going to share a clip with you guys that I just took up outside um, because of the many moons in the sky. Let me get that started for you guys. And I want you to take note of my skies. I've often talked about here what's going on in the micro happens in the macro and as I've had my heart you know bruised or a little broken and I just kind of shaking my head to what has been revealed um, it reflects in my skies I also captured that moon that day moon and night moon that we're having oh my goodness you guys um, enjoy the clip Good morning. I just thought I would touch base with you guys since it's, it's been a little while. I'm taking a little break. Um, a lot of things came to light really, really quickly. And uh, taking some time to mm, rethink, you know, what's going on, how we treat one another what our responsibility is to one another and actually more to the point would be what's the responsibility for our actions what responsibility do we need to take when we do something that directly affects other people around us so with that said I'm taking some time just uh Rebalancing, centering myself. Um, you know, it is it is true that, uh, in no matter what circumstance, man will let you down. And I'm a heart-based person, and that is where my fault does lie. That uh, I care too much. Therefore, I put myself in the position to get hurt. And that's something that I need to work on. 
but I don't think I could withdraw my heart. Because that's a big part of my life, a big part of my personality. I care about people very, very much. Okay, now let's look at the sky. Oh, here's the shed. He's still working on that. I want to show you guys. Hope you can see it. There we go with that day moon. We have day moons and night moons. The skies are beautiful. So anyways, the promo is going on. Anybody that makes any comments on any videos, I am able to see uh, from that date of the live call-in show uh, from when I first announced it. Your um, subscription handle name needs to show up on the subscriber list. I did do a video on how to make yourself visible. So you could go in the raffle. So we are doing that. And I do love everybody. I'm just taking some time to, um, you know, I guess more to the point is I want to make the, this place a platform of truth sovereignty, responsibility, along with sharing all these amazing and wonderful things that are going on with all of us. A place of equality where, you know, my intentions are that we can trust one another. And I hope that you can understand why I'm taking a little break and stepping back and reevaluating, um, you know, basically who I've led into my house being my heart um had a couple dreams one i have not posted um the one that i did is coming to pass before my eyes which whoa that's uh, pretty trippy when that happens it's an odd feeling when it actually starts manifesting in real life the deja vu the things that are that happen it's like whoa down to the seeing the actual people that were in my dream normally the people are symbolic of something else but i'm actually this last one i was able to see their actual faces so yeah but i'm still around i love you guys have yourself a wonderful day peace okay so in that clip, if you guys noticed in my skies, there was some lines and some disruptions and things like that going on. Um, and I often tell you guys again, you know, what's going on in the micro within us will reflect around us in the world. So it's clearing up, um, you know, and that's just a way that I can know, you know, if I'm getting through something, um, and I had to figure out why did this upset me so much? You know, what was going on? What was revealed? And a big part of what bothered me so much is that it was actually revealed that it was a role. It was acting it out. And the only people who did not know about it was the viewership. So it was being perpetrated against the viewership so um the platform um and and the other individual involved the other individual involved revealed that this was everybody was playing their roles everybody was playing their part so uh, it was pretty shocking pretty shocking to find out especially since you know um myself uh as we go along we know that the more aware we are, the more responsibility we have as we become sovereign and conscious of what our abilities are and how what we create around us. So um, one of the things or a couple of questions that we can ask ourselves always is the one that um, I actually posted in our Facebook group was, you know, is this coming from a direction that is self-serving 
or is it coming from a direction of unconditional love? Now, if it's something that is uh, self-serving, maybe to grow a platform or, you know, to play games with people, then we need to recognize that. But if it's filled with unconditional love and people actually care about how they affect other people, well, then we can respond in that manner. Um, you know, just a, a lot going on. Um, is it in service to self or is it in service to other? Let's see. I've got other things I want to share with you guys. And this is... Uh, what I've been doing is taking time to heal and balance. I had to take the responsibility for my part in why did I get affected this way? Why did I, you know, what was going on? Well, as we get things stirred up, um, the empathy and the you can feel uh, the intentions behind things and you can feel how it could violate other people, violate their trust, violate the, uh, you know, their security in what's going on within them. So I had to take some time to, uh, you know, readjust and heal my heart um, and find out why I got so upset about it. And I know why I got so upset about it because when I first uh, had this uh, amazing thing happen to me, it was a very confusing and fragile time. The last thing I would want to get involved with or have done to me was somebody playing out a script for a response um, when I would rather people just be authentic and honest we all make mistakes um, and it's okay to make a mistake but to bury our heads in the sand and say no it's not my problem it's your problem especially when people are first waking up and they know that this was role play that this was perpetrated against a wide audience and to not take the responsibility for the actions or uh, how it affected other people. It's just, it broke my heart. It just broke my heart. So, um, yeah, so we're, I'm taking time to heal and uh, rebalance. It's important. It's very, very important. No matter how badly people treat you, never drop down to their level. Just know you're better and walk away unknown. Now that's a mouthful and that is, uh, it's just buried with truth and uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah. Okay. Now this one I captured because as we are going along on this, and we're growing and we are becoming sovereign, responsible creators of what's going on around us. All these gifts are stirred up within all of us. We all have different things to offer, different passions in our heart. And it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Empathy is a big one that I see that is pretty consistent with just about everybody where, you know, you can walk a mile in that person's shoes. Uh, we lose judgment and use discernment. But we get to uh, a place where we can trust somebody and we just don't think they would, you know, do anything to us. Um, and But when something happens like this, it's a shocker. It just, like, shocks you. And then we need to take the time to reflect and heal and get back in balance again. So if there's one thing that I got from this is that um, when it comes down to it, man will always let us down. So always seek from within because within is where you're going to get all your answers. Everything that you need is within you. Okay, let's see what I got. I got one more to share, I believe. Okay, we got that meme. Healing. Um, oh, I think that's it, guys. Now, I want you guys to remember 
but there's three ways to help this channel to keep it going and I did want you guys to understand why I haven't been streaming and stuff this week um, but as we can see by the skies and you know from my clip uh, I'm coming out of that confusion and, and um, I need to have what's going on in the inside reflect which what's going on in the inside does reflect outside around us and um, when I'm not in a good space I do not want to be spreading untruths to anybody I want to be responsible for what I say to you guys and what is shared here I want it to be authentic I want it to be real I want to show unconditional love I want to treat you the way I want to be treated so um, okay the three ways you can support the channel is down in the show more notes subscribe share um, or you can make contributions all three are just as important as the other we also have that promo going guys so if you make comments on any of the videos anything that's been posted it'll show up as a new comment you have to make sure you're showing that your handle is showing up uh, as a subscriber which I did a video on how to make your um, handle show up so that way you can go on the list so then I, you can get assigned the number so as I see you uh, talking commenting on videos made or sharing with other people um, I pull it up on the spreadsheet and I'm gonna put numbers on the tickets so that way there's no names on the tickets they're numbers to keep it there for everybody so when we do this live drawing we're all gonna do it together I'm gonna do it live right in front of you we'll look up the person uh, we'll look up the number to the person's handle it's tied to and then verify they're an active subscriber if not we'll draw another number so yeah you know let's make this world a better place if there's anything that I have learned is that we have the ability within us to make this world a better place and the more we know the more we grow the understanding within us and when these kind of things or games or uh, stage plays get acted out in front of us let's learn to discern them for what they are and realize that you know that's exactly what it is it's, it's a play it's been acted out and the only people who were not aware was the viewing audience I love you guys all so very very much I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon peace